Whoa, welcome to the Osiris League Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, and this game, it's Rise of Kingdoms. Frodo OG, Jimo like, welcome to the stream. Welcome, everyone. As you can see on the timer, 24 minutes to go, so we still have plenty of time to... Uh, well, I think we're going to... Uh, Check out the events I still have to do. Yes, he wrote the assault. I think we have three tries. So we can kill some time here. And I'm going to try for rank one like I did yesterday. Didn't work out that well. Let's check again. Commander. Can. Okay, I'm going to try again. And for the second try, I'm going to try YSG and uh, Seodora. Let's see if they can do something. Now I'm going to skills, DPS, yes. Okay, we're going with the healing challenge. How are you today? Welcome, everyone. Use Kira. My Kira is not strong enough yet. Okay, before we're going to start the war music, let's uh, put some electro. Magandang Gabi Fleisch. Musta Kanakuya. Fleisch passes open at. Okay, let me first get my march out here. First, I'm going to try with Khan. Hey, bro. Welcome. Where the F is this Bob going? Ah, this was a bad start. Can you speak Arabic? No, I cannot. Now, in order to get rank 1, I have to hope for... Uh, we going inside here. Break and drop is not working. Come on. All right, looks good. And yeah, I know where we're going. This looks good. Come on, go over. Good. I'll make some AOE to hit the barbs around. Yeah, this time we get number one, I think. Germany, number one. Oh, yeah. Okay, this looks good. I think we get rank one. Do you like the leader Saladin? Saladin is good. Alamuba and Gabi Fleisch. <laughs> Welcome. A lot of Filipinos here. Going here. Maybe we go here, I'm not sure. Yeah, we go here at the bottom. Okay, now attack. Come on, now attack. Don't go out. No, okay. Got it. Yeah, this time we get rank one. How many max leaders do you have? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm also going to make a video about my account. 
I saw Ronnie did it. Ronnie revealed all his uh, secret information about his account. Oh. Okay, but Omega was also kinda good. Alright. Pure Pinoy. Okay. I want to try something different now. But before I do this, I have to make um, a preset. I want to try. Let's go red in seconds. I want to try YSG. Just for testing purpose. With Seodor. Royal crossbow. Boom. I want to see the AOE value. Okay, challenge. No, I'm, I'm still tempted to go uh, to invest into Theodora. Because there are coming a lot of uh, new commanders. And sculpture wise, I will be able to uh, max three commanders. But yeah, these two new archers are very juicy. Then we have Zenobia. Madness, DT, hello Flash, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, even if it's a little bit late, but yeah. Still we got uh, Christmas vibes going. Oh come on guys, click ready. What is your advice to the players free to play? My advice is to at least go for the gem package, for the gem bundle. So at least become a low spender. Okay, let, let me see the damage. We are going here. Okay, that's good. That's good. We we directly hitting a barb. That's good. Boom, double AOE. And we're smashing our skills. Yeah, double AOE. That's good. Okay, okay. Healing again. We're dropping off in damage here. There is a barb. And I think we have to move over here. What the fuck? Ah damn, we're getting some damage. Let's attack this barb. Okay. Yeah, right now we're still leading. Yeah, I just wanna try new combinations. Just wanna try. Okay, this is good. We're doing some AOE. HP looks also okay. Yeah, Bob spamming near. Bye. Another Bob. That's good. Yeah, that looks good. We have the highest AOE damage right now. Okay. What the F? No, it's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> Dark Flames is uh, linking the KVK, which is going to pass fear, pass, uh, pass four, going to open today. And I'm going to launch the second live stream today, but. Uh, yeah, it's also Dragosin's uh, kingdom. I think it's it's spoken Dragosian, right? I think it's spoken Dragosian. Yeah, we have one more, but we're going to open. 
Yep. Confirm. That's fine. Going to reset. That's fine. And one more. We can try Guan Alex. Let me make a pre that so we are faster. But yeah, Guan Alex AoE is not that best. Royal Guard. Okay, let's try it. And let's check the timer, just to make sure we're not going to miss it. 13 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, 13 minutes to go. Just killing some timing. Let Drago know I will always be his daddy. Well, there is something going on with this KVK today. I mean, I can show you. Let me find the picture. Yeah, there it is. Ready. I'm going to show you after this round. I do not expect much action uh, in Ragosian's KVK today. Come on, the last one. Oh man. Hey buddy, come on, accept. What the F? Okay. I'm not going to tank here. Okay, let's see what Go and Alex can do. Uh, I really do. Uh, your, I really do enjoy your commander comparisons, right? To the meat and potatoes, the four screen showing all the comments. Uh, thank you very much. I'm down. And by the way, welcome everyone to the live stream. We just waiting 11 minutes to go for the finals to start. Meanwhile, just killing some time over here. DACC, welcome to the stream. Also, Nightbot joined us. Okay, right now, damage-wise, that's, that's fine. Oh man, what, what are those circles, really? What are those circles? Now look at those people, what are they doing? They're just staying there. Oh man, can't be real, can't be real. Flash my fans after Baba. Oh yeah, that city keeper. Well... Okay... Bobs are coming in... But damage-wise, we are not doing good. If your city was subject to the crowd of Attila, what is the name of the commander that they put in the garrison? What? I'm not moving into the bubble now. I don't care. He's nearly finished. Let me die. Oh yeah, let me die. Emmet, Samen, welcome. How are you? Reduce the music volume. It's too loud. Okay, I reduced it even more. Cyber, welcome. 
This city keeper is the best. OP, oh yeah. I hope in future I will be able to take a double rally. I'm going to try to take a double rally. Maybe 3 million. Two rallies at the same time. Let's see. First I have to test uh, how he is performing in, at one rally. 3 million. I hope he can do it. And I'm going to stack up uh, on troops also. Nine minutes to go for the finals to start. Come on guys, finish this job here, finish it. This is, this is the worst round I have seen. If you die, you don't get X-Book? Really? Is this true? No, 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 no. It doesn't matter if I die. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I remember it doesn't matter. Well, well, what kind of reward are we talking about? The Vucha? We got the Vucha. The Vucha. Yeah. It's fine. Just need 1% contribution to get rewards. Okay, this makes sense. And Timo like, welcome. Okay, this one is done. Timer. 22 hours, okay. We can do some more later. Let's just make use of our HP. And by the way, welcome to the stream, everyone. Seven minutes to go. Seven minutes to go. And Chad, who do you think is going to win? What's your guess? What's your bet? Three six, uh, three six. Come on, chat. Let me know who do I think is going to win. Let's see who is, uh, which numbers are overwhelming in the chat. 3-6, okay. And right now I see a little bit more 3-6. Remember, Matt C, welcome. Okay, I think it's pretty even. And I think the best way to figure this out is uh, looking at the bets. Yeah, that's how it looks like. A little bit more for OV, and I also put my bet on OV, but to be honest, it doesn't matter because the shop is empty. <laughs> what can you do? And do you know what happens with those coins? They're getting uh, transferred into food because we all need food, right? Paul knew Gmo like, wow, how do you know this command? Damn. Yeah, Gmo like just opened a uh, voting. You can click the link and then you can put your vote. It's in real time. And I'm going to open some uh, informations for the live cast here. So I can add commentary on all those uh, Osiris League skills being fired in the middle. Sometimes I see skills I don't uh, know yet. All right, there we go. Something interesting we have seen at the last game. 
I think they used OV used uh, something to speed up farming speed. Oh yeah, I think it was Insettable Desire. OV launched Insettable Desire two times at the last match. Because they wanted to get uh, some more provision score in. S. It points out that 36 is a master of points per minute. And I think we're going to see the same situation here. 36 will win the points per minute game unless OV has some strategy in place to counter this. And my guess is, yes, OV has a counter for that. If I would have to make a guess, I think OV has a strategy in place to counter 36 gameplay. Okay, we're not going for this one, let's go for the 24. Okay, let's check the link. I think uh, OV is going to win. Yeah, some more for OV, but we have seen this in the in the bets in game. And ladies and gentlemen, three minutes to go. Dick him down, should Wales focus more on T4 than they current do? I see you have a lot of T4. Well, T4 is uh, good if you don't have too many resources or you are in KVK and you used up a lot of your gold and resources but you still want to fight, then you can change to T4. At the beginning you can fight with T5 but if it points out the road is very long and you still have to keep up fighting then you can change to T4. Fleisch, can you share your city keeper talent tree? Thanks. No, it's uh, too secret. I apologize deeply from my, from down from my heart, but uh, I cannot share city keeper uh, talent tree. It's a uh, kind of secret. Maybe, maybe after I took the double release, I have to keep it secret because it's uh, too special. Who do you think is going to win? I think OV is going to win, but 36 just surprised us. 36 came from nowhere. From uh, the bottom to the top. So do not underestimate. And I think we already registered. Re register. Okay, this is done. And one minute to go. No, we're returning our marches here. And let's do the verification now, not later. All right. All right. This will be the final game. This is the last round. Everyone has one point, meaning the winner of this game is going to be the final champion. Let's go, 36. David, Indra, Giovanna, welcome, by the way. And we're going to change the music to the fighting one. 30 seconds to go. And we all do know this music. This is City Keeper. And 10 seconds. Do you have your popcorn ready? Do you have your drinks? Let's go. Okay, timer is up. We have to return to the game and switch again. Boom, watch. Yes, enter. Thank you. Going back here too. Boom, in and watch inside both games. Second camera, we put them in the middle. This is what we want to see on the second screen. Now I did a mistake with my main device. I'm pretty sure here. I have to do something first. I apologize, but we can return. What I want to do is go into the settings. And uh, Troop Strength, uh, uh, True Commander Voice, Simplified Graphics Mode. Okay, we make this on. Then we switch Simplified Graphics off and we moving back into the game. I hope this was a smart idea because now we won't be forced to use Simplified Graphics. 
Okay, let's take a look. At the top we have OV Slody. Just in front. John Wick, we know what John Wick is trying to do here in this game. He's always trying to go for the arc as fast as possible. He's a primary arc carrier. Oh, 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 we have a second John Wick. Who is the real one? Who is the real one? At least we have one fake. Now I believe... I don't know. I have to check later, but there's one fake John Wick. Maybe there's a... There's a third one. I don't know. Okay, at the bottom side, we have a 36. Hand the Devil at the front position. Maple and Peter at the second position. And let's take a fast look on all those cities and their power. Well, most of them are just 100 plus. And I can tell you, if at the end of the match we're going to see troops healed. Most of the time, troops healed are just T1 troops. And what both alliances are going to do here at the beginning, they starting T1 rallies. And they're going to try to smash those T1 rallies at the obelisk. Why? Well, a T1 rally has about 2 million T1s and 2 million T1s does result in one energy point. And energy points can be used to fire those Ark of Osiris skills. So, this is the reason why you're going to see T1 rallies. They want to smash those generating energy to being able to fire more skills. Now, this is the first purpose of T1. The second purpose is the speed. So if you want to capture something like the obelisk as fast as possible, you're also going to see T1s. And there's a possibility that someone will try to snipe an obelisk this would cause some time reset. But we're going to see. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and go! The game just started. OV at the top side. T1 as expected. John Wick and Slowly at the front position. And we got more John Wicks. Now let's see the name if we can. Make a difference here. This is John Wick with another sign in the name. And let me just take a fast look. Four million deaths. This John Wick is a real one, I guess. Ah, this is a lot of T1 skilled. I don't think this is a real John Wick. I think the real John Wick is a... Uh... Oh, I think the real John Wick doesn't even have his name John Wick. That's, uh, I bet. So we have two fake John Wicks, all right? That's my guess here. But this would be a smart play, right? Because uh, 36 is going to try to target John Wick in the middle, pretty sure. So yeah, we have two fake John Wicks. And let's see, rally-wise. Well, we're seeing the rallies on the obelisk here. You can see the timings, who has been the fastest one. And this obelisk has been captured from 36. Also, OV got the obelisk. Let's take a look at the timer. We have 250. And this one is 240. So 36 was faster. 36 managed to grab the obelisk faster. Does this mean that 36 is going to also win the other games about points per minute? Well, let's see. But, well, this is, a, this is a good start, if you ask me. It's just some seconds, but those seconds can make a difference. The faster you grab the obelisk, the faster you can teleport in your cities. And for the timing, let's just keep this uh, on the screen at the bottom right. We can see the timer here. It's just 10 minutes. Now, if I have to make a guess, I believe we're going to see the first troops marching in from OV at around 6 minutes before the Ark is going to spawn. And let's see who learned from the last game, but 36 at least has to get one Ark. They have to get one Ark at least, and uh, if I have to make another guess, OV is going to try to get them all. 
They don't want to make the same mistake they did in the last game. They lost one arc and the 36 won the game by points per minute. Because they're doing pretty good on the structures. So let's check the rallies going still only at the obelisk. Alright, I think this is a fake rally most likely going to cancel. Is this T1? Yeah, this looks T1. Okay. So these troops are just getting smashed to generate energy for using more skills. Because skills being used in the middle are just too crucial. And what do we have here in garrison? Oh my gosh, this is a Marx woman. This is a Marx woman. Whoa. Well, this is just T1, so I guess this Marx woman is doing fine, but let's see. 36. Ah. 36. Your obelisk? Excuse me. Do you want to lose your obelisk? You don't want to lose your obelisk. If this timer is going to reset, you have a problem porting in your cities here. This would be a, a huge difference. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I have to say, maybe this is this is a strategy from 36, okay? But I'm not sure. Maybe they're also trying to smash some T1 here. Maybe they're also trying to smash some T1. Not sure. Okay, this is fine. I think this is fine. Don't go out. Secure this, uh, Mark's woman. Secure this, Mark's woman. Okay, let's take a look at the... Uh, boom, there it is. 7 minutes and 40 seconds. And we also have our third screen when the action is going to start to keep track of everything. And let's hit back. Okay, looks like this obelisk is fine. Uh, for one moment I was uh, kind of confused about this Mark's woman. But looks like this is intended. I mean, come on, in the in, in Osiris League game, Mark's woman, this cannot be a mistake. <laughs> this cannot be a mistake for sure. So this uh, most likely is part of their strategy. Maybe they just want to smash some T1 too. And we're getting some matches from 36 to the Desert Altar of OV. And we keep track of the middle. I can see some marches from OV already heating into the middle. This is uh, 6 minutes 30 to go and let's check for other matches. Oh yeah! OV is already bringing some marches into the middle. It's uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds to go. They're going early, that's for sure. So, let's see what uh, 36 is going to do here. And the Desert Altar under pressure. Let me see this Zenobia HP and looks like it's going down, but it's in the hand of 36, I just recognized. 36 managed to get this Desert Altar and Zenobia in garrison. Come on, reinforce the Zenobia 36. Reinforce. Don't fight outside, reinforce. Put them in. Zenobia is very great in garrison. Just put your marches in. And yeah, the HP is going up again. Come on, put your marches inside. Do not fight outside. That's what Zenobia is for. Give uh, OV a hard time. Give OV a hard time. And we're also seeing some marches he over here. Walking to the middle. And what are those moon is? Okay, it's heating over here. Now we can see OV is starting to get a small group together. And depends on the strategy of 36, but if 36 wants to get some, uh, some chance for this arc, it's not enough. That's not enough troops. So maybe they're going to drop, let's see. Maybe they're going to decide to drop the first one. They need more marches in the middle. And if OVs want to have a smart play over here, they're going to try to create some space, pushing these marches a little bit to the side of 36. So they have some space once they're trying to push to the Ark and the Speedy Gonzales 
of OV, which is John Wick. Not sure if it's his real name here, but uh, maybe we have two fake John Wicks and one uh, real one. Would make sense. I mean, I would do it. If I would be John Wick, I would uh, create two fakes. So two people just renamed to John Wick and uh, I would just be a uh, Anonymous. Okay, so far, let's see. At the rallies, well, most of the rallies just stopped, which means kinda they all concentrate on the middle, right? No rallies at the structures, means kinda they all concentrate on the middle. Let's just fast check over here. Zenobia, this time from OV, so OV managed to get this altar back. Good news for OV. And what's going on here? This desert altar has low HP. This Desert Alta is low HP. I hope they're not going to lose it. And points wise, let's just take a look on the points. 2700 for OV, 3500 for 36. Again, we can see 36 is able to manage the points per minute game. They're just performing better on the structures. And we are going to see skills being fired very, very soon here. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Maybe OV is uh, waiting for those marches to arrive. But... 36, yep. We can see marches coming in. And it looks like they started. We're going to see the first skills being fired here. I see Divine 8 fired by 36. And Mystical Formation by John Wick, which is defense increase. Also, 36 use mystical formation and war drums. This means attack and defense is increased for both alliances. Now it means smash as fast as possible while those skills are active. While those skills are active, they have to make a good play. And we can figure out who is going to win here in just some seconds or Maybe one minute, just take a look on the sad faces. Okay, just take a look on the sad faces here. One sad face, 36. Three, four, four sad faces from 36. Oh, some more sad faces on the 36 side, also on the OV side. But this doesn't mean too much, okay? This doesn't mean too much. It needs to be a lot more sad faces. And so far I can see OV it's getting some more reinforcements in for the middle. And the Ark is going to spawn in 1 minute and 50 seconds. And I think I'm seeing more sad faces for the 36 side. Is 36 putting some more reinforcements here? Let's check over. Ah, that's not too many. That's not too many. But on OV side, well, it doesn't look much better. And looks like we tricked the simplified graphics. We tricked the simplified graphics with the thing I just did before joining. And I, my guess is here, 36 is going to lose this. It's too many sad faces. Too many sad faces. You can see it, right? And let's just make a color check. Okay, let's just make a color check. Blue or red? Oh, look at this. <laughs> this doesn't look too good. Yep, this is a blue game and blue is OV, so congratulations OV for the first round of this arc. Well, it's not done yet, but yeah. And if I have to make another guess, they're not going to wait to deliver this arc. Why? Well, 36 is uh, doing the points per minute game, so they have to rely on getting all those arcs for points. Unless their strategy this time is different, but my guess is they're just going to deliver it, no delays. No delays, and I can see blue all over the place. This is the arc of uh, OV. And the first arc, by the way, is 3000 points. Second arc is 3500. Third, 4000. So, as you can see, it's always 500 points plus per next arc. That's how it works. Yep, let's take a look on the rallies. I think 36 is going to start to increase our points per minute game again. Ah, there we go. There we go. Sky Altar is getting a rally in and I can see the Altar 
All right, this is good. 36 captured the Desert Altar from OV. Good play. Now put your Zenobia in. Come on. Put your Zenobia in. You don't want Guan to defend here. Hello. Where's Zenobia? Come on. And we got the Wu. Well, that's better than Guan. That's better than Guan. And Ken, 36. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. Key and Candy. Key and Candy is trying hard to uh, reach the arc. And those marches. Yes, I just wanted to say it. I just wanted to say it. Those marches should support this Desert Altar. Reinforce. Do not go for the arc here. This is the smartest thing to do. Keep the Desert Altar. Come on, no. Reinforce. Killer B. What, what are you waiting for? Come on. Go in and reinforce this Desert Altar. You want to keep it. And right now, 36 is leading by 900 points. If you take a look on the top, Killer B. Come on, go in there. Go in there. Do not wait. What? What? Okay, I'm out of commentary here. See, those marches are heating over to support the Desert Altar. And Killer B should not try to, to attack this march over here. The, he should just try to go there and reinforce. Okay, let's take a look at the arc. Where are where is OV going? John Wick got the arc. Now I cannot tell you if this is a real one or a fake one. He's stopping. What happened? This is not the real John Wick. I can tell you. You know how? You know how I can tell you this is not the real John Wick? He's too slow. The real John Wick has twice the speed, okay? I can tell you. The real John Wick has twice the speed. This is too slow for the real one. This is uh, very sure. But maybe they... They're not going for, for speed here, so... Well, let's see. How does the Desert Altar look? Still in control of 36. Now this is getting funny here. 36 should put up more pressure here. Yeah, all those troops they should reinforce. To, do not try to make field fights if you have Zenobia in. Do they have Zenobia? I think right now it's still, uh, still Wu. This is still Wu. Can I click the structure here? Oh yeah, it's Wu. Well, Wu is not too bad, okay? You can use mixed troops. You can put every kind of troop inside. And this Wu is fully reinforced. It's a white bar. That's great. But, but, the Shrine of War has fallen. Has been captured by OV. Well, it's going down, but it's, uh, it's points per minute disruption. And ladies and gentlemen, feel free to drop a like and subscribe on this live stream. I very appreciate you. Okay, so Shrine of War, nothing we have to talk about. This will be back to 36, but it's points per minute disruption. This uh, Wu Zetian is just sitting there saying, hey, as long as I'm getting reinforcements in, everything is Gucci. But yeah, they should take care they're getting reinforcements in here. If they have a march inside, Put it out if it's getting low and put a new match with uh, full HP in. That's uh, how they have to do it. Meanwhile, a rally on the Sky Altar of OV. Of course, we have a Zenobia in Garrison. It just became yellow, but looks like this is no big deal here. Nothing. And the Shrine of Raw is back to 36. Zenobia inside. Everything is fine. How is the Ark doing? How is the Ark doing? Let's take a look where it is. Looks like the game is a little bit on there. It's John Wick. And I don't think they're going to wait him. I don't think they're going to wait him. Helmi Fauci, thank you very much for becoming a level one. And I have to give you some glitter. I appreciate you. And now you can use those uh, juicy emojis. Oh, and we have to put some... Uh, some fire here. Let me take a look if this is still a good frame rate. Looks like. And let's take a look at the Desert Altar, which still is in the hands of uh, 36. Still in the hands of 36, but the HP is getting a little bit low from this uh, Wu Zetian. Come on, put your marches in. 
I am pizza. You should not be a pizza, you should be reinforcing the desert altar. Because you have full HP and this Wu Zetian is getting low HP. Do not just walk around there, put your marches in. Because it's getting swarmed from OV and OV, I can tell you, is just concentrating. And we can take a look at the middle, seven minutes to go for the next arc to spawn. Yes, OV delivered the arc and let's take a look on those points. The points wise 10,800 against 93. That about, that's about 1,500 difference. So let's see which arc 36 is planning to get. I believe in the last game it was the second arc. I'm not sure. I think it was the second arc they managed to get. And still this desert altar is in the hands of 36. It's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Some pressure on the Shrine of Life over here. And something interesting. Take a look. Take a look. 36 is heating over. And they're making a smart play in case they can manage to get a bigger group here. Yeah, all those marches. Oh, baby. Well, if I have to make a guess, they're going for the second arc, ladies and gentlemen. The second arc is going to be their play. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see to the dash here. Which is a one-time skill you can use. But OV also getting a small group here. If 36 is smart. If they can manage to get enough troops here, but it doesn't look like. I mean, that's some, but still not enough. They can try to keep this position here. They can try to keep this position. And even push further while using skills. I think 36 expected to be more early there. And meanwhile, let's take a look and now we go into split screen. Now we have to go into split screen here to take everything. Desert Altar, still under pressure, but the HP is very low and I cannot see any reinforcements. This Desert Altar is going back to OV. Congratulations OV, after five minutes you got it. Better late than never. But yeah, I have to say 36 did a very good game here. They just reinforced all the time. And Buzician is very good in garrison here. I mean, we can check all those battle reports, but... Uh, um, yeah, I think we're going to rather concentrate on the middle now, because this is an interesting place we want to see now. But what about other rallies? Shrine of Life. Looks fine. Shrine of Life looks fine. Rally wise, how about uh, this one? Sky Altar, rally incoming, make sure it's reinforced. And we're heading over to the middle. Now we're going back into the one screen, we don't need a double one. And I have to apologize, I apologize, I have to get a cooling pad. My iPad is just... Uh, Feeling like this one. Everything is under fire. You can watch the fight. I'm back in 30 seconds. And wow, they still haven't started. Now just wait for the skills being fired. I can tell you they're just waiting the skills to be fired here. And I believe 36 is going to use to the death. If OV wants to make a smart play here, they're also going to use to the death. So this is most likely an all-in. Let's see. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I can see the Shrine of Life under pressure. It's being owned by OV. Points disruption. And it's back in the hands of 36, but they're losing some points over here. And Mystical Formation. John Wick to the death. Yep, this is an all in. I told you. And we're also going to see to the death from 36.
But wait, 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 wait. A, a smart play. Now a smart play would be to not use to the death. 36 should not use to the death. They should not use to the death. Why? Well, gives this arc to OV. Gives this arc to OV and use to the death in the third round. You have an advantage in the third arc. I think this would be a smarter play. And it's going to lag. Now, I'm going to do something here now. Let me restart. Let me just do a fast restart while we can take a look on our second device. No problem. No problem. We are prepared. And I think there is a bug. There is a bug in Ark of Osiris. It just starts to lag. And after restarting, it's gone. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. It's some, some bug. I don't know what's going on there. But it reduced the quality. I don't want the quality being reduced. You have to do the same thing again. Okay, switching back. And now we are back into the game. Okay, now. Now we got it. Now let's take a look, okay? Let's just take a look. Look at the speed now. Can you see it? Speed is much better now. So something is going wrong there. Something is going wrong there. Now there's no problem with the uh, frame rate. Okay, how does it look like? Uh, I excuse, by the way. Excuse for, for the delay. But... Uh, a lot of sad faces from 36 again. And color-wise... It's blue. So, what can we say? Another very funny thing. In the bottom right, you can see it's dark. But on our main screen, it's... Yeah, what can you do? Well, it looks like OV again managed to get this arc. Now, I wasn't able to see if 36 used to the death. Anyone could see it? Can you put me in the chat, please? Did 36 also used to the death? Has 36 also used to the death? I think I only saw one to the death and this was OV. Yeah, they haven't. It would be a smart play, yeah. I think they're going to use it on the, on the third one. This would be a smart thing to do. This would be a smart thing to do. Let's see. I think they're going to try all in on the third arc. Now, OV is leading by 2000 points. They can take a risk. They can take a risk and keep this arc. They don't have to deliver it. They could take the risk and keep it, but they have to win the points per minute game. This is important. Meanwhile, Desert Altar under pressure. And again, Zenobia and Garrison, like always, I mean, always the same. And by the way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on this video. I very appreciate you. I very appreciate you and let's take a look on this uh, Shrine of Life which they managed to get back. What's going on here? Dai Chan tried to get the outpost but it didn't work out that well. We can see Samaj is going to the Sky Altar of OV on the bottom side. But this Zenobia looks pretty okay. Is there a rally coming? No, it's not. Alright, how does the Desert Altar from 36 look? And we can see some OV marches going there. Most likely just going to smash their troops. Yeah, they just want to smash their troops to return home faster. They are low HP. They're just trying to find a fast way to smash their troops. And let's see the strategy of OV. This will be kind of interesting right now. OV leading by 2000 points. And let's see how 36 is doing on this desert altar. Looks like they really like to snack on this one. Zenobia and Garrison but plenty of reinforcements from the OV side. But marches wise let's see. 
Yeah, it's okay. -ish. It's not too much. I think this Desert Altar this time is pretty well. If OV wants to... And what happened? Look. Look at the points. Look at the points. What just happened? Okay. 600. Around 600 difference only. So, yeah. 36. <laughs> they just gained some points. By by structures. Good Good job. So, I think 36 is a master of points per minute game. Let's see. Now, troops wise, I don't think they will be able to get this desert altar. And I see a blinking sky altar over here, but nope. Looks uh, secure. And what do we have here? Okay, someone trying to get the outpost. He's done. It was a good try. And how about the Ark? There it is. There it is. Let's see what they're going to do with this Ark. Provision score in the last game. I believe it was about 2000 more points for 36 in the last game. It's not 100% now. Uh, not granted, but I think it was about 2,000 points difference, so 36 did a better job on provision. Even OV used uh, the Ark of Osiris skill for faster provisions. And Sky Altar under pressure, still I cannot say that this looks in danger. Desert Altar. Okay, this one looks... Also, no problem, just two marches getting smashed over here. Ah, it would be a nice and a good play if 36 would manage to get this Desert Altar back. They're still sending marches over there, but they need some more. They need some more to get it back. All this uh, points disrupts. Now 800 points, OV is leading. And they just delivered the Ark. Well, this is very interesting. Very interesting. Four thousand points. Ov is leading. Thirty-six has to get the third arc. Now twenty-six minutes to go for this game, and the next arc is going to spawn in just eight minutes. I already can see matches from Ov going into the middle. By the way, Ov is already going in. Oh, look at that! Ov is already going into the middle. They know. They know. They know what 36 is trying to do here. Pretty sure. So, OV wants to be... OV doesn't want to be smart. They, they want to be over smart. Because they have to... they thinking, yeah, 36 is going in early. But hey, we're going in even more early. They have 4,000 points advancement. So, yeah. I mean, this... Points per minute games, they can uh, they can take it a little bit more easy. They're leading by some thousand points here and seven minutes to go for the arc. And I cannot see any marches from uh, 36. This is going to change. Well, let's see if we're going to see to the death here now. And looks like Sky Altar, points disruption, uh, has been captured by 36, YSS in garrison, and yeah, no, they are going back, yeah, at least this is points disruption, how about the Desert Altar, looks pretty safe, no problem, and the Sky Altar is back to OV. Hey! And Jock Doan, maybe he, he just crashed. You don't know. You never know. Maybe he just crashed. This is going to be very interesting now. Leading over to this screen. They are super smart. V36 probably win the game if they take this arc win to the death. Dodo is saying. Yeah, like I said, I think OV is smelling something here. They know 
if they have the only uh, if they are the only one using to the death they know uh, most likely they're going to try now 36 have to try now this is uh, also the reason why oh, we just sent so many marches so early into the middle and yeah you can see it this is all in this is all in let's take a look on the rallies there's one one rally ge going from OV to 36. This is a desert altar. Apologize, this is 36 rallying OV. Okay, how does the middle look? Five minutes for the arc to spawn. And I have to say, we always seeing so many sad faces on the 36 side. They have to get one arc. They have to get one arc at least. And yeah, this is the all in. Someone, I am pizza. I am pizza. You have to go to the middle, okay? Please. We know you are a pizza, but you have to go to the middle. This one is moving. This one is not. Maybe he crashed? What? What are you doing there? Why are you, you going at, to the desert altar with one march? I think he crashed. I think he crashed. I think he crashed. Okay, group wise. We see a huge group on both sides. We for sure are going to see skills being fired. This is for sure, always. War drums, mystical formation, which is attack up, which is defense up. But 36 still has to the death, and what are they doing? Don't go in before you have the buff. Wait, wait, wait for the buff to be fired. Hold your horses. And after the buff, you can go in and smash. Oh, maybe they want to just fire their skills now, but both sides still getting marches in. And they should try to have a murder ball here. Just get, yeah, just go closer, because those skills are area skills, okay? You have to cast them in an area, and this is the reason why they have to stick together in a group. You don't want to miss any marches like those. Come on, get closer together. You're not getting the buff here. Who is this? Peter. Tintin. June. Move over into the murder ball so you get... And war drums. 36. And mystical formation. John Wick. Where is to the death? Where is to the death? Have they already fired to the death? If they have to the death, they should fire it now. Now or never. And we have to the death from 36 and this is worse a nuke. Boom. Now let's see if we still can see some troops alive. Yes. Still some troops are alive and the lag is really real. The lag again really is real. But we're not going to restart now. We're just eating this one frame per second, okay? We're just eating this one frame per second. We're just waiting a little bit. I just see red numbers. This is a huge red numbers. Huge red numbers. And if we take a look on the sad faces, 36 should have an advancement. They used to the death. And oh yeah, some sad face, but sad faces on both sides. I would expect more on OV side. And yes, doesn't look too bad. One minute to go for the arc to spawn. One minute to go for the arc to spawn. And I apologize, this one frame per second, but uh, it's not worth a restart now. And by the way, welcome everyone to the stream. I would very appreciate a like and subscribe on this video. Thanks for that. And we have a lag fest going on. Now, who is going to win? Let's check the colors. 
Blue or red? Well, it's a sad story, but I can see more blue. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just wrong. I mean, they're used to the deaths. What's going on? Maybe OV's commander combinations are just better. Maybe OV's commander combinations are just better. But how? To the death is 100% damage increase and 30% damage reduction. This should have a huge impact. But I cannot see how 36 is going to win this here. Points wise, OV is leading by 1500 points. This arc is a third arc, which means this is 4000 points. 4000 points for this arc being delivered. 36 needs it. They have to get it. And Valen Stand, used by 36. Valen Stand is structure death plus 50%, so they're trying to defend a structure here, so pretty sure they put it on the desert altar to defend it. Yep, I think I can use, I can see a skill here. Let's check. Yeah, this is Valen Stand. So this is 50% death for this structure. They want to keep it. They want to keep it. Now, okay, okay, nothing is uh, done here yet. Nothing is done here yet. Okay, let me do something. Let me. I'm just going to restart. Let me put the second cam over here. And this is really laggy. I'm just restarting the second device here. And we getting back into the game very fast, but as you can see here, color-wise, not enough red troops. Not enough red marches, looks like we will be able to grab this arc. And I hope Lilith is going to take an eye on, uh, on this lag here. And may I hope they're going to apply a fix, whatever this fix will look like, but uh, there is lag. There definitely is lag. And after we start, it's gone. So something is wrong, okay? Something is going wrong. As you can see here. And still, 36 is sending marches here. And they have to, they have to. Attack the Ark, try to delay. Try to delay. And I can tell you OV is not going to deliver it. They're going to delay here. They going to delay. And 36 meanwhile has to concentrate on points per minute. Now, still 15 minutes, 16 minutes to go for this game. John Wick has captured the Ark. Insettable Desire has been fired. Insettable Desire. Increased caravan Gaza speed by 50%. OV is trying to increase their provision score. And I see too many blue troops. Just some arriving into the murder ball of OV. But this doesn't look like they have a chance. Let's look at this position. Maybe they... I don't know, maybe they could have cancelled and just walk over to support. But to be honest, there's not much they can do. There's not much they can do. Pretty sure OV is going to try to delay. This arc is 4000 points. If they can manage to win the points per minute game, it makes sense to keep this arc and delay. Now OV is leading by about 800 points. This desert altar still in the hands of 36. And we can follow with our second screen over here. Let's put it in the split screen. 
at the Ark, while we're also taking a look at the Desert Altar being defended by 36 and Zenobia. Poseidon bringing some reinforcements, hopefully. Yep, he reinforced. Good job. Good job. But looks like no more reinforcements coming in for the Desert Altar. Italus, come on, put your marches in. Put your marches in, meanwhile. Let's follow the Ark. And yeah, some 36 marches getting through. They're reaching the Ark destination. Let's just take a look here. But they won't be able to transport it back. Unless it will be very tricky here. Unless they will be very tricky. I mean they could try to grab an outpost here and then deliver this to the outpost, but... Yeah, too many OV. And I'm, I think OV is going to delay it. I think OV is going to delay this one. Desert Altar. It's very red. Reinforcements. Grant the Fool. Come on, go in, go in. It's getting too low. No, don't field fight. Put your march in. Grant the Fool. Come on. Yeah. I am pizza. Deliver your pizza to the Desert Altar, please. The Desert Altar needs some pizza. He's low on HP. Do not field fight. Reinforce. Re... Yeah, that's how we do it. Meanwhile, taking a look at the Ark. And I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened. 36 fire to the death. Everyone had war drums. Everyone had mystical formation. They both had. I'm pretty sure they both had. And then 36 had to the death, which is 100% damage plus. And 30% damage reduction. I have no idea. I have no idea how OV was able to... To get this done. I mean, it must be... Commander combinations, I guess. Otherwise, I have no explanation. More troops in the middle? I think everyone has sent everything in the middle, right? I have no idea. It must be commander combinations. Otherwise, I cannot explain this. Otherwise, I cannot explain this. And the Desert Altar... The Desert Altar is still in the hands of 36. Points-wise, kinda even. Kinda even, and sorry for not being able to see the points, but here you can see them. Here you can see them. 28,700 to 28,700. So points are even. Only the Ark is the difference now. And like always, 36 will manage to get the points per minute game. But this arc is 4,000 points. Is OV going to deliver? Is OV going to deliver? Well, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Meanwhile... The Desert Alta are still in the hands of 36, they're not giving it away. It's always very low, but the reinforcements coming in. But they have to send more reinforcements because all those marches look very angry. Those marches look very angry, if you ask me. They want to get back this Desert Altar. And if 36 is not sending enough reinforcements, what they are doing right now? Yeah. But also... This Sky Altar in the hands of 36, damn. And a rally, Ramses. Against YSS. You may want to swarm the Ramses, and they're doing, because Archer rallies, as you know, can easily be swarmed down. No problem here. Plenty of marches to the Sky Altar. Is 36 trying to win by points per minute only here? It's still 9 minutes to go, 9 minutes 30. I think in some minutes the first provisions are coming in. 
Nine minutes to go. Nine minutes to go and they can kinda deliver their arc and war drums has been fired by Slody. I think to get uh, the Desert Altar back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, pizzas and everyone around here just reinforce. Come on, reinforce properly. Reinforce properly. And if you have, you can you can uh, use Valiant Stand. Valiant Stand skill is giving structure death 50%. 36. If you have the skill, fire it now. Well, maybe they don't need to. They have enough reinforcements. Enough reinforcements. The arc still has not been delivered. Right now, 36 leading by 1,000 points, and the arc has been delivered. So we have 35,000 again, 32,000. 3,000 points difference. There won't be a new arc. This is the last arc. Let's take a look at the timer. Eight minutes. Nope. This will not be possible to get. So this is a pure points per minute game now, plus provisions. Plus provisions. Can 36 get enough provisions and also get the points for those two structures? Remember, they kept the Desert Altar all the time. The Desert Altar is giving the most points per minute. 150 per minute. Okay, the Desert Altar is giving 150 points per minute. If they keep it for 10 minutes, it's 1,500 points. Also, they managed to get the Sky Altar. I think also for, for some minutes already. Man, these are two altars. Two altars. That's, that's a lot of points. If OV is not taking care, 36 is going to win this even without taking one arc. Even without taking one arc. Okay, I think we're going to focus the cam now on the structure at the bottom. The second sky altar. Going to be interesting to see why it says in garrison while we focus the first one on the desert altar. Oh no, it's going low. No, no, no. Why are you going out? Hey, 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 Circle K. He's going out with the Zenobia. What is he doing? Why is he moving out with Zenobia? I know it's low HP, but doesn't matter. Come on, stay in. Stay? Why you move out with Zenobia? Oh no, this is... Well, why is S now? Never you go out with Zenobia. This is... <laughs> You need Zenobia in there. You need to keep the structure. This is very crucial. And Valiant's tent has been fired from 36 on this structure. Valiant's tent plus 50% defense on this structure. On the Sky Altar. They want to keep it. They want to keep it. But maybe they should have fired this on this one. I think this is more crucial. I think it looks more crucial than this one. No, I'm wrong. I apologize, this one looks more crucial. More blue troops here, okay. This was a good choice. I was wrong over here. And we see a lot of reinforcement, but put them in, put them in, come on. Insettable desire. Put them into garrison, come on. Now we have Zenobia. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and five minutes 30 to go. Points wise, it's even. Points wise, it's even. Man, I have to deactivate this Fkin overlay. Let me deactivate this overlay. Wait, wait, wait. Now you... Oh, everything was fine. Everything was fine. You can see the points per minute here, okay? On the top. You can see on the top the points per minute game. Even twice. You can see it even twice. And the Zenobia still put all your marches in and 36 are going to win this. Come on. Now. 36 is leading. Five minutes to go. 36 is leading by just some points. Now provisions will be the key. In the... In the second game, 36 was able to get higher provisions. Okay, in the last game, 36 was able to get higher provisions. Is this again the case? Now, 200 points. 36 is leading. Come on, reinforce this 36 Desert Altar with Zenobia and Garrison. No. Where are the red troops? Where are your marches? No. 
This Zenobia is going down. There's too many blue marches swarming here. This Zenobia is going down. This Zenobia is going down. Faster. Click. Night B, foolish, click. Come on, click, 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 click. Drag and drop. <laughs> you need to reinforce. This is so crucial. Divine 8 has been fired. Reinforce this Zenobia. Where are you going, Night B, foolish? The only destination you have to go is reinforcing this F Kin Desert Altar. Come on, go in. Go in. No. You should go in. Man, what are you doing there? Is he field fighting? What the F? Now. 36. It's so even. No one is leading. Same numbers. <laughs> oh boy. And this Zenobia still is alive. That's amazing. Meanwhile, no OV managed to get the Sky Altar back. No, they managed to get the Sky Altar back. That's not good news. Let's switch over to the... Heaven's Grace has been fired. And now the Sky Altar can be... Can make the difference here. The Sky Altar can make the difference here. Oh no, Zenobia is out. I think this March has been killed. Put some garrison in. Come on, put some good garrison in. This Artemisia is not the best thing. Put some garrison in. And reinforce. Come on. You can do it. Now, 36 leading by around 400, 400 points. Provisions are coming in still. And 500 points. 36 is leading by 500 points. 2 minutes 30 to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a very... Very close one, and OV is leading by 400 points right now. Provisions went in. Provisions went in. This Sky Altar is secure. This Shrine of Life, is it going down? Come on, get it, get it. Get it down. 36. <laughs> Bring... No, they reinforced. Damn, they just reinforced. <laughs> Okay, so this Desert Altar. Finally, we have a Wu Zetian again and points-wise. Two minutes to go. OV is leading by around 1,700 points. 1,000. It's changing all the time because provisions coming in. Oh, nearly even. 100 points. OV is leading. And more provisions coming in. Same. It's even points now. Even points. Oh, this is so close, this is so close, and they still have the Desert Altar. If they manage to keep this Desert Altar, it's going to have the little change. All the time, it's points per minute, okay? As long as they keeping this Desert Altar, they're getting 150 points per minute plus. And we can see a rally from Slody. Oh no. Oh no. Well... I think this is a done deal. Even they lose this desert altar now, it's not generating points per minute anymore. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. So, OV leading by 1200 points. Oh please, come on. Do we see more provisions coming in? Do we see more provisions coming in? And 30 seconds to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the last 30 seconds of this Grand Finals game. Right now, 1000 points. OV is in lead. Now, do we see some magic? Do we see some magic? Oh, and even more provisions coming in from OV, yeah. 2200 points. And... Looks like OV is... The winner. Congratulations, Ovi. Very nice game. So much uh, tension. Close till the end. By the way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on this video. Thanks everyone for watching and let's still take a look on the stats, okay? Let's not be too fast. Occupation score. 33. Let's make it 34,000 for 36. And 23,000 for Ovi. Provisions. Oh, Ovi improved. This time OV did better on provisions.
yeah. Unit sealed. Well, the healing, you can kinda ignore it. Most of those troops are T1. And again, congratulations to OV. They are the grand final winner. Final champion. I'm not sure what to call it, but uh, they <laughs> they just won it all. They, they just won it all. And woo, I'm kinda exhausted. I need to grab some food after this game. <laughs> DHR James, uh, thank you very much for your super chat. I very appreciate you. This is for you. And girls and boys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on this video. I mean, this is not the last games we're going to live cast. There will be some more in future. And if you, if you like the style of action, just leave a like and subscribe and. Uh, We'll be happy to see you joining on on the future casts too. I had a lot of fun with this game. And by the way, most likely I'm going to start a second live stream. Again, a second live stream in just one hour. Because uh, we have KVK 111 till uh, 116. Pass for opening. And this means a lot of troops getting smashed, hopefully. So, see you in one hour. Maybe in two hours, let's see. I'm going to put this uh, in YouTube in about 10 minutes so you can see the timer. Would uh, be glad if you're also going to join me on that. Nice game. <laughs> Very nice game. Ovi, congratulations. You did uh, just amazing, but also 36. Come on. 36, and this was such a close game. Such a close game. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Have a good day. Enjoy, for like and subscribe, and see you on the next one.